welcome back to the channel guys farm sim snowy here so we've got only one mod out today but i thought i would get them all out on show just to go through them otherwise this video would only be a couple of minutes long so it's just one mod but it is a pack and it's a pack of these three beauties or beasts beauty and the beast whatever you want to call it this is the versatile 4WD pack, or four wheel drive pack. This is by Julian F. Modding. These are obviously large tractors, so you'll find them under vehicles and large tractors. We'll take a look at them in the store in a second. So first of all, we've got this one. This is the 2012 to 2016 model. This is 12 slots on console. I went for pretty much every configuration on that one and we'll go through those in a second as well this is the 2017 to 2021 model this is 13 slots on console and at the end we have the 2022 model and that is 14 slots on console so 12 13 14 slots are like so so we'll have a look at them in the store first and then we'll jump in one they are pretty much the same as in terms of sort of configurations wheel setups all the um interior cab and everything like that which we'll look at in a sec it's only just the horsepower that changes between the three so you'll find these obviously in your store under vehicles and under large tractors so we do have a base game versatile four wheel drive, which is this guy. There's not a lot of configurations on here. You can just change the wheel brand. You can't actually change the wheel setup and it's only the engine setup. So it ranges from 583 horsepower up to 665. So that's the base game one. And then this is the first one, uh, the 2012, 2016, like I say, 261,000 base price and like I say all the configurations are exactly the same apart from the horsepower so first of all on here we have wheel brands we have Michelin Trelleborg that puts them a bit skinnier tires Continental Midas BKT Vedestein and back to Michelin they're all exactly the same there apart from Trelleborg um, all the other uh, wheel brands are standard or twin wheels only so Michelin standard twin wheels back to standard Trelleborg we can have standard twin wheels or triples which is what I went for and then just to show you continental standard twin wheels so it's just going to be a preference of what you want really BKTs they look quite nice standard and twins Vedestein again standard and twins and then we're back to michelin's design we can have us which is how it is or we can have australia which puts the huge oversized sign on the front but i do love the sort of rope or bungee cords holding the sign on <laughs> it's very cool that i like that nice detail so australia or us cab configurations you've got no then you've got carpet so if we go in there so that is no that puts like the rubber matting on the floor where your feet would go and then you can have carpet then you can have cedar terminals which puts all those computers up on the side there and sort of the wiring like so then you can have both so the terminals and carpet foot rests so if you look either side of the steering wheel column puts two pegs there one either side so you can rest your feet as you're going along with your cruise control on and then we've got foot rests and carpet foot rests and terminals or all so that is everything which again is what i went for in the first one and then back to no attachable parts we've got standard and then we've got 1800 kilogram front weight which puts that big beast on the front there or we can have PTO which puts that on at the back there's no three-point hitch on here no option so just bear that in mind 
or we've got both which puts the weight and the PTO on there auto steer system has got no if you go yes it puts another tiny computer there inside obviously I went for that as well I'm not 100% sure that actually does anything certainly probably won't on console but PC guys may get some difference I'm not sure and then the engine setup for this one we've got the 450 which is 470 horsepower then the 500 which is 521 the 550 which 574 horsepower and then we're back to the 450 and we do have a license plate option if you wish to so that is the first one the 2012 to 2016 and then we've got the 2017 to 2021 as you can see it sort of changes um, in terms of color on these ones exactly the same sort of configurations again US and Australia or if you if you go for twin wheels it will push those indicators turn signals out wider and then all the everything else is the same the engine setups different this one's a bit more powerful so we've got the 520 which is 573 horsepower 570 which is 628 the 610 which is 655 and then we're back to the 520 which is 573 again and the same with the license plate as well and then we've got the 2022 um, model this is the similar horsepower to the base game one 583 to 665 same price as well but there's obviously all those configurations that you can change so there's a lot more you can add to this than the base game one so exactly the same and again this is more powerful so start off with the 530 which is 583 horsepower then it goes to 580 which is 638 horsepower the 620 which is 665 horsepower and then we're back down to that one so pretty cool and again another license plate option as well so that is all of them. I'm going to jump into one of them and I'll choose this one because obviously it's got everything in there. But look at that detail on that rope. It is rope, I think, or possibly could be wire. Very, very cool. Huge monsters they are. Nice hoses on the back. And then you've got these, which are obviously the colours. I don't know why that really reminds me of like the Wonder Woman logo. <laughs> it's very similar, I think. I do like this colour scheme though with the red and this sort of yellowy orange. Very smart. So yeah, that is those ones. And that's obviously the newer version. Looks pretty much similar to that one. Obviously a lot more powerful. So let's jump into this guy. We'll take it for a spin. Now I'm going to go in cab because this is very cool. We've got the mirror flickering. Um, I did get taught a little tip on that actually. If you go into the shop and select something like big bags and just come straight out, the mirror flickering should stop, which that seems to have worked. So thank you for that tip. Um, when you start this up, it's pretty cool because the screen comes on. If you look at the first screen next to the steering wheel and also also the dash. I know you can't look in two places at once, but as you start this up, everything lights up. It's very cool. I like that. In fact, they are actually different. So I'm going to get in and start them all up because... I think it was the newer version that I started up and the screen come up it was almost sort of I don't know like an iPad kind of thing very nicely detailed in here obviously this is the older version and the indicators the stick does go up and down look and you can see them flashing that's very cool so out of cab if we do the indicators it is actually the ones on the sticks there's none on the rear or lights of the tractor or the front 
like so lights we've got those that's just the first set and then these come on at the back and then all of them on so it does light up very well Horn. pretty cool very nice we do have a few options on here I haven't got the help menu on but I think it was L1 and R1 for me on the PlayStation and if we go left stick or left or right it turns the seat slightly to one angle as you can see which is very cool and if I stay L1 and R1 pressed down right stick right and left opens the door that is the only animations we've got though so let's just quickly jump in the other two and start them up I think this looks a bit more newer so this is probably going to do it so let's watch the screen there we go yeah it was this one so it comes up with the website and everything very cool same thing with the indicators very cool I like that nice mod nice set of large tractors but that is it for today only one little bit disappointment but a bit disappointing but at least they are still coming out so I hope you have all enjoyed the mod review, just the single one. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.